In a recent episode, I gave a review of the Mac Mini G4 and its usefulness 15 years later here in the year 2020. That review, which I would encourage you to watch, gave some real-world tests for the performance and usefulness of the Mac Mini G4. This video is dedicated to providing some additional performance figures based on commonly used benchmarking tools for Mac systems of this era. In testing the Mac Mini G4, I found the computer to do well at playing Unreal Tournament 2004 on medium settings, thanks in part to the ATI Radeon 9200 graphics processor with 64 megabytes of video memory. The Mac Mini also impressed with its ability to surf the web, stream YouTube in 360p, and play 720p high definition video saved on the hard drive. To help gauge the performance of the Mac Mini G4, I ran the following three benchmarks, Geekbench 2, Xbench, and OpenMark. Here are the results. Geekbench returned a respectable score of 804, which put it right in line with the Power Mac G4 Quicksilver with an upgraded processor, slightly underneath the score of a 20-inch iMac G5, and less than half the performance of a Power Mac G5. For Xbench, the Mac Mini G4 scored the lowest of the computers tested, putting it right in line with a 12-inch iBook G4, and quite a bit less than the iMac G5 or the Power Mac G5. It's worth noting that with an SSD drive, I believe the Mac Mini G4 would have returned quite a bit higher on the Xbench score. OpenMark reminds us that the video card in the Mac Mini G4 is an entry-level card. It pales in comparison to the PowerBook G4. However, it's worth noting that the Mac Mini G4 had a higher score than an Intel Mac Mini running integrated graphics. All things considered, the Mac Mini G4 is still an enjoyable computer and did quite well when you remember that this was an entry-level, budget-priced Mac that is in a remarkably small enclosure. Thank you for watching, and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content, and consider subscribing to the channel.